this um, presentation outlines a plan to reinvigorate our introductory accounting units. It focuses on AFM 101 but has direct application to other units, particularly AFM 217 and uh, GSB 701. The background is that we um, have a model that despite its weaknesses has worked reasonably well in the past given the constraints that it has. And in recent years we've steadily added resources and this has resulted in reduced attrition. But both of these areas needs significant attention. And on top of that, there in the marketplace now there are new tools available that will make the unit the way it currently is look tired, unappealing, ineffective and inefficient. So let's look at the current structure of the unit before we can talk about where we may go to. So currently we have um, a number of topics, 12 topics, and, and their topic is designed to, to be a week. And so we start off with basic um, introduction like the role of accounting, then from that we build on the accounting, build on up with the accounting cycle as we work through. Then we move up a, a level again to look at specifically at assets, various categories of assets, a short introduction to liabilities, and then it's not finally until we get to the end, which is the interesting bit in a sense about um, accounting, is how you use the information you produce to make decisions. So let's look at uh, how those things come together. As we said, we've got those uh, topics. We give students a map to help them find their way through their topic. So you know, they start out with the role of accounting, then work their way back to the beginning of the accounting cycle. You know, this is how we record a journal. And then this is how we post it to the ledger. Then they find you know, that path through to the trial balance, then through to how we close the accounts. Then we go into look at different type of accounting, accounting for retail, which is a lot about inventory. Along the way, there's also um, a number of opportunities for feedback, particularly related to the assignment and related to quizzes. And that's quite a valuable feedback, but it's only periodic. There's also some uh, other minor feedback in terms of quizzes that are up there. And there's just feedback there really in terms of you've passed this or not, so you need to go back and review. And the current unit, quite naturally enough, um, uh, provides one exit point. And that exit point is, or you could say two exit points, either students don't pass the unit or they pass the unit. So what are some of the issues that come up when we think about this current structure? Uh, it's in topics and there are some disadvantages with that, in part the way the topics are structured, they don't really sell the benefits. Um, why would someone really want to study this information? And the topics are not really flexible in terms of designing the pathway. The map through the topics is a quite useful guide but it does lack precision and this precision, lack of precision is especially relevant when it comes to feedback because we have de developed the feedback substantially in recent years but uh, as I've got there in today's world it does lack timeliness, precision and specificity about what action people should take and a term we, I will now introduce and we'll talk about later maybe is the next crucial action. Can we direct students towards their next crucial action? It also has some dysfunctional assumptions and that is that each student has uh, equal capacity and equal motivation or at least similar capacities and similar motivation and one I've already talked about there's only one destination and that's passing the unit AFM 101 or not passing so you could argue there's two destinations also the current unit has little demonst demonstration effect regarding accounting so it doesn't if people don't look at that and they get some um, unconscious understanding of how accounting works and particularly how accounting is reported. It does have some significant strength and one of the strengths it has is the um, practice set because the practice set provides uh, a context for learning. The practice set, and I'll talk briefly about that a bit later, but a practice set is 
um, uh, um, an example business that you get the basic information for and you pretend you're preparing the financial statements for that business. The unit also is reasonably scalable, but we can make changes to make it more scalable. So what will this uh, re-engineering bring? Well, specifically, it's aimed at improving retention of students and pass rate of students. So improving student knowledge, and sh which should also re relate to uh, greater levels of excellence in later accounting units. It is also should bring the result of improved student satisfaction, as reflected by increased enrolments. And maybe though they're less reliable, um, the student feedback. And students will also have a greater sense of how to use accounting information and this is particularly relevant for emerging issues associated with accounting. Um, but I don't exactly know how we're going to measure this and those emerging issues are things such as sustainability, uh, metrics, the, which is particularly brought about by the rising technology of communication and measuring devices, measuring devices and the globalisation of accounting. So, the future, what will we do? Well, the, the, the simple steps, the, the stuff that's easy to describe, at least I will address here and leave some of the more complex issues for later. The topic material will be packaged into modules to make them more appealing and more functional. And I will go through how those modules may look. We'll provide a map through these modules that has constant feedback with regard to the progress um, that people are making and in particular it will more clearly signpost the relevant resources they have to accelerate their progress and it will more clearly signpost their next crucial action. This um, should also, and I've got this written in a different colour because the first reaction could well be that no, this is not possible um, but nonetheless I'd like to flag it and that is it should enable alternate outcomes from people using these resources and it may be passing a lower level terminating accounting, terminating accounting unit um, rather than just failing the unit and students could build extra modules uh, and students could complete extra modules that build credit. What's a terminating accounting unit? Um, let me take a brief moment to explore that. Uh, our, the accounting unit AFM 101 is um, accredited with a number of bodies, particularly, but not limited to, the professional bodies, Institute of Chartered Accountants and the CPA. And so there's a number of things that we, a um, number of standards we need to reach. A result of that is that it's possibly, um, or probably, a higher level of work and a higher standard of output and output that's expected than a typical first year unit. Some universities uh, cope with this by having two introductory accounting units, the let's call it the normal accounting unit and a terminating accounting unit. Now that's not quite as practical for us for a number of reasons but particularly resource utilisation issues. But nonetheless I'd like to explore how we can cater with that. Alright, let's look at the module. So we, you've seen the topics already. Now, this is what the, um, how the modules will look. And there are different colours there. I'll come back and talk about what those different colours are. Now, before I talk about the different colours, let me talk about how the unit may now operate. I talked about providing a better pathway through the modules. And now, how will this pathway work? Um, students undertake a module, then they ha have um, an assessment task, which gives them immediate feedback, and it does one or two things. It gives them a rite of passage to move through to the next module, or it guides them back to resources they need to look at, um, so they can cycle through the material again and come to that quiz. And they need to get 
a sufficient mark in a quiz, which is likely to be 95% or somewhere around there, before they've earned the right of passage to move on to the next level. All right, let's look at the categories of modules. The modules are designed to cater for um, running two units concurrently. And they would be the advanced unit and the terminating unit. I think I've called here the basic unit. So there'll be some units which are common to both streams. Then there'll be material which is um, aimed at advanced students and material that's aimed at basic students. There's also some material aimed at basic students um, that's not covered in the advanced course and may be of interest to some of the advanced students. And there's also advanced material that's um, extension type material um, or material not um, currently covered in the unit, but which some students we have could absolutely deal with um, in the time frame they have. And it may be possible they could undertake advanced units, advanced uh, modules, and build up credit for a future time. So let's look at how this may um, then come together. So the alternate pathways is there's a common start, so they go through financial reports using um, financial reports, the accounting equation, classification of accounts, particularly looking at the chart of accounts, um, components of an accounting system, and then we get to a spot where the courses may diverge. And at this time, and not under this time, the students need to um, make a decision of which way they, they're going. Ideally, most students would go on to the advanced path and hopefully with the new mechanism we'll, we'll put in place, they should easily be able to cope with, well, they should be able to cope with that. However, there's some students that um, do want to study business that are just not uh, cut out to master some of the uh, more challenging aspects of accounting. And those students could be diverted to an alternate path. And that's the basic path and they would go along here and then we see we come back to some elements in common again later whereas the advanced students would go through um, particularly material related to preparing financial um, preparing financial information rather than just using financial information and also um, material related to some of the theoretical aspects of accounting Um, more about the modules, about the developed modules. Again, we have um, modules in each of these modules. So again, we can see um, common, advanced, basic, um, mixed, and um, extension. Now, these uh, modules are broken down into sub-modules. So we go financial reports, it's broken down into now balance, what are the financial reports? There's examples there. Further broken down into how we use financial reports and characteristics of financial reports. So each module would be broken down to various levels um, like that. Now that will also be relevant when we talk about the uh, student dashboard. Uh, each module is going to be supported by well, this is quite obvious. Topic notes, um, general resources such as podcasts, videos, exercises they can do, um, links to outside sources. There'll also be quizzes for practice and then important quizzes that either earn the student the right of passage to go to the next level or directs the student back to their next crucial action. And there is the student dashboard to highlight the student's progress. Now, the student dashboard would look something like this before they started. They probably wouldn't have this thing up the top. Um, it would look something like this. These are all the basic modules. Now, as they progress through the unit, it would take shape more like this. And a note here, the colour scheme here is independent of the previous colour scheme we had. Now, what do these colours here mean? Well, the student has successfully completed the green ones, financial reports, using financial reports, accounting equation, 
they've not started the role of accounting. They've started um, recording business transactions, but it's red, so there's an issue with it. They have a problem. The accounting systems they've started, but they have not yet got to the stage of identifying a, um, a problem. They need to just work through that. So they haven't really done the rite of passage quiz at the end. So what do they do when they get to this module? Well, they click on, we have a problem, the student dashboard. They click on that and it will take them into more detailed breakdown of recording business transactions. And they'll be able to see what part of recording business transactions their problem is. So they can see green, they're doing quite well with the journal, double entry, posting, but they have a problem with debits and credits. So they're able to click on debits and credits and it will give them some actions they need to do they can do, what resources that they'll be directed back to, or one of them may be then um, they're referred through to this video, and I could click on and go that now, but it will take some time to load, they've got to read some material, they'll be directed towards, and I can put the links in here either, and there's some practice quizzes they could do. So then they'll be able to go through those, and they'd know what their next crucial action is, what do they need to do to help them go forward. Now, as well as that, um, that is a, an overview of the, how things are going to change a little. We also currently have a practice set, and the practice set is really significant. Um, it's currently an accessible task because it provides the context where all these things are tied together. But that will change. It will no longer be an accessible task, but it will still be an important component um, when I say it won't be um, accessible, it um, won't be accessible in a normative sense, but you may say in a formative sense it's still an assessment task, um, where students would get instantaneous feedback when they made entries into the practice set. So we could direct them straight from the practice set to, you need to rethink what you've done here, read about this particular aspect. Now, just notes there again what a practice set is. It's pretend business designed for students to uh, take source documents and undertake all accounting actions needed to prepare the financial statements. The practice set would also um, have a, uh, some important attributes that it could potentially lead um, into the practice set for AFM 211. And Leopold is currently working on a practice set for that and we're working on aligning um, our practice sets. And it also found, forms the, the um, base to um, incorporate non-accounting material. So if we get to the stage of um, building something bigger with marketing aspects in it or management aspects in it, um, a practice set again could be relevant. And it would work also well as a good format if we're moving into things such as virtual worlds where we set up a number of businesses there and groups operated those businesses and recorded all the information and made decisions. So the practice set is a quite valuable tool. That's probably the key information that um, I wish to address and uh, thank you.